Hey friends, today I'm going to be sharing my 12 week pregnancy update. I'm 12 weeks and this Thursday I'm going to be 13 weeks pregnant and I'm so excited because I finally got to tell my parents that I was pregnant. My mom suspected that I got a boob job and like I'm not the type of person who cares for my boobs so I would never get one but one day she's like your boobs are getting quite big what's going on and I was like oh I'm just gaining weight so it was such a like it was such a relief to finally tell her oh you're gonna be a grandma and she was so excited um, and my dad even knew that like I was gaining weight so he kind of knew too and next week we're telling Justin's parents so I'm really excited about that we're flying to San Francisco to let them all know oh, I'm so excited I'm gonna be excited when everyone and their mom was knows because like it was such a hard thing to keep it a secret for three months but Justin and I wanted to make sure that mini marshmallow our little baby is doing Doing fine and our baby's healthy because it would be so devastating to share the good news and then maybe share potentially share bad news you know so we just wanted to be very careful because it's our first time being parents you know I don't do weekly updates of my pregnancy only because I don't have symptoms that change like the symptoms are always the same I know that my baby goes through developmental changes every single week like there's a new thing that happens but as far as my changes there's nothing really new except my hair feels a lot thicker like my hair grows so long and it's so thick I mean like um Ooh, sorry if you if I messed up the audio, but um, I waved at my hair today, but it's a lot thicker than it ever has been and I like it because I usually have like some crazy fine hair that doesn't have volume, but like finally for like the first time in my life, I actually have volume. But another thing about hair, like my hair grows fast, like I pluck my, my little mustaches, and then the next day like there's a little bit of like a mustache growing already like I am getting really hairy with this pregnancy <laughs> I'm still rubbing the Mamma Mia oil all over my stomach and I plan to throughout the whole pregnancy but I think I will be definitely getting stretch marks only because my mom had it and in the middle of the night um, my stomach like it feels really itchy and my mom told me it's because my skin is growing or stretching and I in the middle of the night I catch myself like scratching myself I don't even know that I'm scratching myself but I'm like in the middle of the night scratching Justin's really sweet he helps put the oil and it's like a great way to bond with our baby and before we go to bed he reads um, a chapter of the what to expect when you're expecting book and then we have our little baby center I phone app and we read all about like what's going on with our baby. I don't feel like I have that much of an appetite but lately I've been craving cup of noodles, the top ramen cup of noodles where you just add hot water. I know that's really bad for you and it's high in sodium but that's like the thing that I've been craving and you want to know something else it's so weird but like I never was a soda person like never really like I would prefer like iced tea and water but ever since I got pregnant, all of a sudden, I'm like some crazy soda addict. I always like drinking Sprite and Coca-Cola. Well, it started with Sprite because like when I was younger, if I felt sick, my mom would give me Sprite because it would help with nausea when I had the flu. And sometimes being pregnant, you kind of get that nausea flu-like symptoms. So I started drinking Sprite because it helped me feel better. And then I transitioned to Coke, to Sunkiss, to anything carbonated. So. Um, I'm trying to cut down on it but then I do have a sugar-free drink that I prefer to drink because it's sugar-free and it doesn't have sugar. It's called La Croix or I don't know, even know how to say it but I bought it at Target when I was there. My husband recommended that I stop drinking so much sugar so we do the La Croc or whatever you say it kind of soda. I still like Coke when we go to the uh, restaurants. I still order Coke though but I make sure that I only have like one soda a day because that's a lot of caffeine. Um, another thing is I almost completely stopped drinking coffee. I only drink it like maybe once a week and I do like tea though. Tea really helps um, my, during my pregnancy. Well even before my pregnancy I have had issues with constipation because I have irritable bowel syndrome and it got worse like during the first trimester but now that I'm ending my first trimester it seems like it's getting better and drinking decaffeinated green tea really helps me like with you know not being constipated uh, <laughs> sorry if that's TMI but I like to share everything as far as other symptoms 
My breasts have been growing, so I have had to buy new bras. I even sleep with like a sports bra thing now because I'm so used to like being flat chested and having small boobs that when I sleep, I never really needed to wear anything to support it. But now I feel like I, I need some support. Um, and so I wear something when I go to sleep just because I don't want my boobs to be sagging, you know? And I just don't want it to happen. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. It's been such a fantastic pregnancy. I still haven't vomited. I still don't get any morning sickness. Um, at night, I get nausea, but I think it's the prenatal pills. I always got sick with multivitamins. When I was really constipated, I feel like my baby bump was a lot bigger than it should be, just probably because of my irritable bowel syndrome and being constipated. But now that my constipation isn't as bad, like it right when like 12 weeks hit, like it got a lot better. So I'm really thankful for that because I wouldn't want to deal with constipation throughout the whole pregnancy because it's really difficult because like, you know, when you're constipated, you feel sluggish and it's just not a good feeling. Anyhow, before I forget, I wanted to share my little baby bump or maybe my big baby bump. So this is it. Let me move the chair. I'm wearing my pajamas, by the way. So I think you guys can see a little bit of my baby bump. I call my baby bump mini marshmallow mellow. <laughs> and I can actually show you guys my skin. I don't mind. So there goes my belly. Sorry about the microphone. Yeah. And my, um, my belly button um, piercing is now gone. I'm still waiting for the um, piercing to close, but it hasn't closed yet, but I'm sure that it will, you know? And what else? Oh, oh my goodness. So lately, um, I've been having these weird, like cramp-like feelings in my stomach, like lower stomach cramps. And I told my doctor, and my doctor told me it's my uterus expanding, it's like growing, and it's also my organs moving around. So that's not really a very nice feeling, but <laughs> that's all right. And it's so exciting. We went to the doctor and we saw an ultrasound of our baby and I heard our baby's heartbeat and it was so beautiful. It sounds like, like thunder or horses running. It's really fast. And we saw our baby and our baby looks more like a, a human being because last time our baby looked more like a a little dot <laughs> so baby I saw baby's face and baby's legs and hands and my baby when we when we saw the ultrasound my baby was like moving his or her hands we don't know the sex yet but I have a strong feeling of what the sex of the baby is just from my intuitions but I'm not sure yet so I probably I probably shouldn't blab it out loud um, but that's pretty much it my skin I still get acne and I can't really use salicylic acid, so I'm still using the belly stuff that I mentioned in my nine week pregnancy vlog. Anyhow, I love you friends. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, um, other regular videos will be up. It's not just a pregnancy channel. It's just only every now and then. Okie dokie friends, bye. I got this Liz Lange maternity um, long tunic sweater and I love that it has like the maternity stretch on the side, like the roof.